Blast 11. Question number one and two, deal with this. Question number one, choose from the angle sizes on your sheet to write the size of angle D, E, G. D, E, G. Number two, two angle sums that total 180 degrees are said to be supplementary. What is the size of D, E, G supplementary angle G, E, F? Number three, and the next three questions are about the cake-eating chickens. Number three, Connie Chicken ate three whole cakes and 78 hundredths of a cake. The 78 hundredths are marked with check marks on the diagram on your sheet. Write this amount that she ate as a mixed number. Connie Chicken ate three whole cakes and 78 hundredths of a cake. Write the amount she ate as a mixed number. Number four, Carolyn Chicken ate nine whole cakes and 96 hundredths of a cake. Write what she ate as a mixed number. Carolyn Chicken ate nine whole cakes and 96, 96 hundredths of a cake. Write the amount she ate as a mixed number. Number five, write the total amount eaten by both chickens as a mixed number. Write the total amount eaten by both chickens as a mixed number. The next five questions are about um, the timeline right here on your paper. And you won't be able to see it, so you'll have to look on yours because I think it cuts off the very bottom one. Number six, when was the photo photocopier invented? When was the photocopier invented? Number seven, what was invented 10 years before? What was invented 10 years before? So 10 years before the photocopier. What was invented 10 years before the photocopier? Number eight, when did computers first appear? When did computers first appear? Number nine, when were CDs first developed? When were CDs first developed? Number 10, what was the name of the first communication satellite? What was the name of the first communication satellite? Number 11, to find the average, you must add the scores and then divide by the number of scores. On your sheet are Lily's scores out of 10 on five different math tests. What was her average? What is Lily's average? on her test scores. The next three questions relate to the shape made of cubes on your paper. Number 12, how many cubes make up this solid shape? How many cubes make up this solid shape? 13, how many cubes can you see? Be careful because some of the cubes have more than one face showing. In other words, this cube on the corner here has three faces showing, but you can only see one cube. Number 14, how many cubes can't you see? How many cubes can't you see? The next three questions are about the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H shape on your paper. Number 15, write the area of shape X. So the area of this one. Write the area of shape X in square meters. Number 16, to find the area of Y, you need to know the length of the side C, D. Sides E, H, and HG together have a length of 6 meters. Sides AF and CD are the same length. AB is 2 meters long, so what is the length of CD? So to find the area of shape Y, you need to know the length of CD. So what is the length of CD? Number 17. 
Now that you have worked out CD's length, you should be able to work out the area of shape Y. Do this and then add it to the area of shape X to find the total shape's area. So find the area of Y and then add that to X, the area of X, so you have the total area of this shape. Questions 18 through 20. The question says, with commercial television stations showing 17 minutes of advertisements every hour, how many hours of television has Cheryl watched if she's been bombarded with 119 minutes of advertising? What is a problem asking us to find? Question 18. What is a problem asking us to find? Is it asking us to find A, how many hours of television has Cheryl watched? B, how many hours of advertising has Cheryl watched? C, how many hours in 17 minutes? Is it asking us A, how many hours of television has Cheryl watched? B, how many hours of advertising has Cheryl watched? Or C, how many minutes, or sorry, how many hours in 17 minutes? Number 19. The next step in problem solving is to ask, how can I find the answer? Which operation or operations would you use to solve this problem? On question 20, solve the problem, put it on the answer line, and then do the activity part down here.